This is blasphemy. This is madness. All right, guys. How's it going? This video might trigger a few Blender users. <laughs> Now before we even start and before you say this video is just clickbait, let me show you one free add-on. I'll put the link in the description down below. It's called Mesh from Curve. Now I'm fully aware you have the Beezer utilities and all you do is need to enable it in the preferences, but I find this a little bit more streamlined and it gives better results sometimes. So let's just quickly select these four curves. I'll go to Add, I'll go to Mesh and I'll do Mesh from Curve. And you can see here it turns the curve into topology. Kind of like spline modeling, ideal if you're doing something like a wing of a car. Anyway, I'll put the link in the description, more welcome to check it out. But today's focus is putting the outliner and the properties on the left hand side. Now during last night's Blender Royale, I noticed one user had this, he was a beefer artist, so he could be forgiven. <laughs> but I asked him, why do you do this? And he gave me some really good valid points, enough for me to actually change it to the left hand side. Now, most people are used to this, and fair enough, if that's what you're used to, that's what you're used to. But let me give you a few examples why it's actually a little bit more beneficial having it on the left-hand side. The first being the Properties tab is on the right-hand side, and it's nice and clean. There's no kind of border in between it. You can easily get to your Properties tab. So let's take an example. You can see here it's just kind of stuck in the middle. It's stuck in no man's land. Now, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a lot easier when it's like this. Another reason that he highlighted is, let's say for example you have your transform open, so if I go in the normal one, transform is here and it's also here as well, it's kind of, it's two things at the one time to be honest, it's kind of pointless, so having it here and having it here makes a little bit more sense to be honest. Now another reason is, you can easily get to the filters, so for example hiding viewport, you don't need to go all the way over to the right hand side, so just to give you an example, it's a way over here and it's stuck in a corner when it's here. It's just easier to get to. Now, again, this is completely your preference. If you're used to it on the right hand side, you're used to it. But the quicker you get any workflow, the easier it will be, I would imagine. Just try it out for a couple of days and see what you like. Another thing that he kind of pointed out as well is the model seems to fit a little bit better. It seems to be more in the center of the UI. And it kind of is a little bit. Now, it sounds strange, but it does feel a little bit more centered, especially when you're actually modeling. Now it's completely up to you, I'm not asking you to change it, I'm just saying why don't you try it for a couple of days and see how you feel. And of course what you can do here is if you right click you can flip this bar to the right or the left hand side. Anyway, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad, you know what to do. Take care.